So we are at the National Museum for American History. This is our very first bathroom. Um, there's a lot of things I really love about this bathroom. There's a lot of things I really hate. The first thing I really enjoy is if you come over here, um, you can see there is a toilet and a urinal. And this is a single person bathroom. Two for one. Um, and there's no reason you need a urinal if you had a toilet, but they give you the option to, which I think is really beautiful. I think it's really great. I also really like this push this like assistance button, um, I they're like really trying to have us not relive American history, like tragedies, like Elvis died on the toilet. Yeah, like uh, help I fall and I can't get up. That's got a fancy button on it too. That's um, pretty cool. That being said, this bathroom's kind of hella grimy. What also the, the gray is a little... It's not mm. aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, no it's not. No. Um, but the lighting over there is pretty nice. By the sink, so you can look at yourself. Take some mirror selfies. That's yeah. good. Mirror selfies are an important attribute of a bathroom. Yeah, in my opinion. Um, they have paper towels, a paper towel thing, but there's no paper towels in it. Lame. Um, there's Lame. only the hand dryer. It's got a blue light. Which I think is very environmentalist of them. Um, I really appreciate that we're not wasting paper here. We have optional toilet seat covers which I take as a sign of defeat. I think they're acknowledging that the bathroom's a little gross. It's not like fucking crazy gross. Like it's I am gonna worst. wash my hands before I leave it and I didn't do anything in here. Um, On camera. Um, I'm really, I'm mostly bothered by the gray. Yeah. But impressed by the, the sink lighting. So yeah, I, think, um, I think those are my main takes. There's a tampon dispenser, that's always good. In a bathroom. Yeah, it's good that it's in the bathroom because a lot of the time, like, you'll go into a stall and then be like, shit, I need a tampon. I have to get out of the stall and go get a tampon and come back. That being said, you can't reach it from the toilet. You couldn't reach it, but, like, you don't have to... You can see me, you can see me try. <laughs> you can see me try. It's and not gonna it, happen. It just, it just isn't happening. You also happen. need a quarter. And I don't have, I don't have any change on me. You don't keep cash on you. Yeah. Because you're not a woman. Women um, keep cash on them, right? Right, ladies? Comment below if you keep cash on you. So I guess my final score, my, you could my, we my, could. my final verdict, and we're gonna, should we say it at the same time? No. Uh, our numbers? Yeah. No, I think we should say them separately. Okay. Um, Five out of 10. Six out of 10. A lot of spirit um, for execution. Uh, all the necessary amenities, and it's not the most disgusting thing in the world. Um, and it's a family bathroom, and we can be in here together and only creep out some people. I'm gonna wash my hands. You can cut. On your record, yeah. Well, it's not on your record, but I'm sure you can find it. If, like, if someone was doing a, like, like a thorough background check. Pretty cool. Papa says restrooms are that way. so we had to leave him behind um, for the wolves and we're in just a women's bathroom, just me and Marina. Um, I would give this um, uh, maybe, a, maybe a five out of 10. It's not, it's not awful. Um, it is really, really loud and crowded. Um, and I also don't like the colors. Um, there's a nice toilet flush sound effect oh, for us. It's not like gross or anything. Um, also, like these were public, public, public places, so that would be fine if like that's allowed. Um, they have they have those toilet seat things. I don't know about the tampon situation. The other bathroom had a really good tampon situation. There's no tampon situation. There's no tampon there situation. A, oh there's this God. hook. Hooks are nice. There's not even a trash receptacle. Oh, there's not even a receptacle? Mmm. We might come down. We might go like four and a half for that. Yeah. Okay. I think we should get out of here. Can't touch it. This is not a good idea. I'm also Elgin. Uh, I'm Lewis. Lewis. Okay, I'm Lance. What's the Jack? Jay's my last name, Jack.
Kajabi. Okay, I'm not sure. Jerome. Jerome. Okay, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Could you recap what happened in case I cut the footage short? I um, came up, I said I'm LJ. He said I'm LJ. I was like, and he gave us free ice cream. Nice. So we're in the Smithsonian Visitor Center. And I gotta say, there's a lot I really enjoy about the men's restroom in here. First off, these fake marble panelings are just. I, I mean, like, if that's not style. I don't know what it is. Um, these toilets are pretty nice. Someone left the seat up, which let's pull it down. Oh, that is clean. Um, that is very, very clean. If you look over there, we have some nice brown paneling. Um, I think it's good. It's a theme throughout the rest of the restroom. Uh, sadly, you can't see it. It matches very well with the shit on the floor, um, which has a similar uh, reddish brown um, complexion. Uh, honestly, I'd pee here, I'd poop here, I'd even wash my hands here. I'd give this bathroom um, a solid 7 out of 10. Okay. Hey, wait. Are you filming? Yep. So we're at our next bathroom, the uh, Campus Fountain. I really enjoy this one. I think it's one of the nicer Smithsonian bathrooms in DC. 10 out of 10, lovely. The decor, we are not having that color or lighting problem that we've I mean, had in all the other bathrooms. It's, it's sort of it's beautiful. beautiful. Um, yeah. There's a lot of like natural design ideas. Um, if you look around, there are a lot of labeled plants and I guess I feel like this is like a very natural place to like piss, maybe take a shit. Yeah, um, really, really be in nature, um, feel your womanhood. The idea, the yeah. conceptual idea of taking a leaf to wipe, I am I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And you have options, whether it be like mint or whatever's going on over there, or whatever's going on over there. And, those, are some, um, those are some spiny leaves and that's it can be an experience you're not gonna get in any other bathroom in DC. Tactile experiences. That being said, there's nowhere to put your tampons. Maybe that birdhouse. I guess I don't usually intend to be watched in a, in a bathroom experience. I don't exactly like that it's public. Um, but other than that, it's a perfect bathroom. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Great.